Follow the advice in this video and you might be ranking on Google by the end of the day. That's coming up. Hey everybody, this is Owen at thevideospot.net where we train, teach, and educate business owners to become rock stars, superstars in your industry. And today is no exception, my friends. We're gonna be talking about how to do search engine optimization or SEO for your business. Now, SEO has changed a lot and it's going to continue to change. But there are some basic principles that can be that will be valuable to you no matter at what stage in the game you're watching this, whether it's today or a year from today. So here are the three things that we're gonna cover today. Number one, you've gotta be creating great content all the time, regularly. Your website can never just sit. Two, you're gonna need to optimize that content using the WordPress SEO plugin called Yoast. And you're gonna to wanna to go and download that right away. Third, create an XML sitemap using the Yoast plugin and send it to the search engines so that they recrawl your site. This will help you to rank for those new pages immediately and put more content out there. Let me show you how to do this right now. Let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so here I am in the back end of my WordPress and you can see that I've already installed Yoast plugin for SEO and I can tell because I've got these SEO um, fields right here, but I've also got a series of green, gray, red, and I might even have some orange dots in here somewhere, which basically means have not been optimized, poorly optimized, ready to optimize, and then there's an orange button or a yellow button that says kind of like middle of the road could use some more work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a page that's not optimized, have up my About Us page, and I'm gonna go in here, you can see I've already written the content here, and I'm gonna scroll down to the WordPress by Yoast field section down here, and then I'm going to start to optimize the page by first focusing on a main keyword, which would be video marketing companies. And it's gonna run a test for me to find out where I'm optimized. So now I need to know, now I know that I need to add the keyword in the article heading, the page title, the page URL, and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those things done right now. Okay, now you can see that we've got some changes here. We've got all the key, the keywords found where they need to be. It says no right here, but the keyword is in the article heading, so I'm not sure why that's not working. But overall, you can see that we have a good check on our SEO. So my goal now would be to optimize four more pages so that you have a total of five, and then you can move on to your next step. An XML sitemap is a file that helps Google to understand your website structure a little bit more effectively and it makes it more crawlable and searchable for the search engine. So let's go back to my computer and take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so we're back in the website here in the back end and you can see that our About Us page has been properly optimized. So now we're gonna go to the left hand side of the screen and we're gonna scroll down to where it says SEO and we're gonna click on XML sitemaps. And what we're gonna do here is generate a sitemap and send it for, to Google, and that is going to recrawl the site automatically. So we're gonna go up here, this is really easy. Check this box to enable XML sitemap functionality. You can retrieve your sitemap here, which is neat to kind of look at because you could see if you've got any dead links and things like that. Now, what I have here is some general settings. It's automatically gonna ping Google and Bing, but it's not gonna ping Yahoo and Ask.com unless you click these buttons, which I've done. I'm excluding a variety of my post types because I don't want things like my images to pop up or pages that I don't have content for, like my FAQs or my news, right? These are features of my theme that I don't need Google crawling because it's going to make me, I don't want somebody stumbling on those pages. Similarly, I wanna exclude these taxonomies, right? I don't want people finding my categories page or my tags page and, and things like this. You may opt out of that. I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna save changes and boom, it's done. It saved my XML sitemap and it's automatically pinged Google and Bing. So now Google's gonna crawl my site and they're gonna see my new pages with my new optimization and that's gonna help those pages rank faster. Woo!
So we did a lot of stuff here today and they were really breaking down into three simple steps, which is create and optimize pages. This is a process that has to be going on throughout the course of your website. You know, build five new pages a month, for example. Then create an XML sitemap for, for your site and then submit that site to Google and ask for a crawl. You should be doing this over and over and over again, but I wanna take a quick time out and ask, do you understand what we're doing so far and why we're doing it? If you have questions, ask them in the comments below. Guys, I will answer your questions, and in some cases, I might even make a video for them. If you wanna learn and grow in internet marketing and you wanna take it to the next level, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to this channel because we got great stuff coming and we got great stuff in the archive. You can check some of our past videos by clicking on the links down here below. I really hope that you'll leave some comments and tell me what's on your mind. Otherwise, we will see you next time at the Video Spot channel. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.